right, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, young people in the back. All right, so this is a great day for Dallas Park and Recreation Department in the entire city of Dallas. I'm Crystal Ross, Deputy Director for the Dallas Park and Recreation Department. And so I'm excited that we're here today. People always say, hey, Crystal, what do you do? What do you do for the Park Department? My simple speech is I get to do all the fun stuff, right? I get to make sure that folks have quality programs, quality services, premier amenities in our park system. And so today is no different. So today is our opportunity to kick off something fun, something exciting for our teens this summer as we kick off July's Park and Rec Month starting on July 1st. So I won't go on and on. I want to introduce our park board president, Calvert Collins Bratton, who will tell you a little bit more about what we're gathered here today for. So I will pass it on to Calvert. No pressure, Crystal. It's always tough to file, follow Crystal because she's such a good act. Well, thank you for all being here in the shade, fortunately, and it's not 100 degrees, so thank you, Mayor, for doing that, bringing that for us. Proclamation from the City of Dallas. So in 2019, the city, Dallas City Council provided the Park and Recreation Department with an additional $500,000 to expand and enhance teen programs and services throughout the city. And since then, the department has created the Youth Services Support Division that creates year-round programs and activities designed specifically for teens. And that includes the Youth All Access Pack, Pass and Trek, our late night, late night teen recreation center programming. This summer, Trek is providing activities like visual and performing arts, health and wellness, leadership and life skills, and technology in STEM at 14 recreation centers across the city. And beginning July 1st, which is two days from now, the Youth All Access Pass will give Dallas teens and families complimentary access to nine attractions and many of their, them as well as co-sponsors. They include here at the Dallas Zoo, the Dallas Arboretum, the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights Museum, the Dallas Public Library, Dallas Museum of Art, Shakespeare Dallas, Trinity River Audubon Center, Bahama Beach Water Park, and Southern Skates Roller Rink. And I'd like to um, ask those representing each of those, some of those organizations to raise their hand. Mary Pat Higgins with the Holocaust Museum, Marie Facini with Shakespeare Dallas, Marcus Cole with Trinity River Audubon Center. Thank you, Marcus. And lastly, Greg Hudson with the Dallas Zoo. Thank you for hosting us today, Greg. So as president of the Dallas Park and Recreation Board, thank you for all being part um, and supporting this exciting announcement. News will, this will greatly benefit Dallas teens and their families, and our goal is to make sure that everyone has access to quality leisure recreation programs, facilities, parks, and outdoor spaces that add significant value to their lives. Today's announcement brings the city of Dallas, the Park and Recreation Department, and many of our generous partners together to provide teens with a one-of-a-kind opportunity for them to create unforgettable memories and meaningful experiences to explore their creative passions and have fun at diverse entertainment venues and attractions across the city. We know that teens are often an overlooked part of our youth programming, and so we want to make sure that at Dallas Park and Recreation, we prioritize our teens in ways that they may not have access to otherwise. The Park Department's collaboration with more than 300 groups, nonprofits, corporations, and others provide capital and operations funding that allows the department to expand its recreational options and offer diverse leisure and special interest programs. So thank you again to all of our sponsors um, to help create the Youth All Access Pass, not only for their generous contributions, but also for giving teens these life experiences that will help them develop into vibrant and productive citizens. Your generosity is making life better for some of our youngest citizens of Dallas and providing summer fun for thousands of Dallas teen, teens. It is now my pleasure to introduce my good friend and fervent supporter of Dallas Parks and a user of Dallas Parks quite often, Mayor Eric Johnson. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thank you. I, thought, I thought maybe you were going to bring up John Jenkins next. Uh, <laughs> thank you for that, uh, Calvert, and uh, thank you to all of you for being here. Good to see you, John. I saw someone from the Dallas Arboretum here, so I want to make sure that we acknowledge that the Arboretum is a part of this as well, so thank you for being here. Um, we're here today at our amazing Dallas Zoo to celebrate what has become a summer of youth in our city. Last year, around this time, 
we were all stuck indoors. We knew our 4th of July celebrations would have to look different. Daily COVID-19 case counts were hitting new records. Our drive through testing centers, if you'll recall, um, had lines that you had to wait in two or three hours to get a, a COVID test. You had to wait four or five days to get your test results back. During that very difficult time, my wife, Nikki, and I, like many parents in this city, had to make the best of this new reality and do what we could to entertain our kids at home and to keep everyone from going stir crazy. But this summer, thanks to what you have to acknowledge has been a successful and effective, but we still have work to do, vaccination effort. We've broken free of the public health restrictions necessitated by this pandemic, and we're ensuring that our young people have a wealth of opportunities to grow and learn this summer outside of the house. In Dallas, we're vaccinating our kids ages 12 and up so they can stay healthy and we can stop COVID-19 spread. We're back to going to soccer and baseball games. We're going to our aquatic centers again. We're putting hundreds of young people to work this summer through my summer jobs program known as Dallas Works. We're encouraging kids to read and giving them great prizes through Smart Summer, a program that I am very proud to sponsor with the help of the Friends of the Dallas Public Library. And today, I'm thrilled to announce that this summer, our Park and Recreation Department is offering the new citywide teen all access pass program, which is blowing away right before I on these signs. But through this incredible program, anyone, anyone in our city, ages 12 to 17, can visit an array of museums and cultural venues free of charge. I want to emphasize free of charge. As my friend Calvert mentioned um, before, we're talking about places like the Dallas Zoo and the Dallas Arboretum, our museums, the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights Museum, the Museum of Art, Shakespeare Dallas, a bunch of incredible organizations. And they don't have to go it alone, our young folks, because these awesome passes will also allow them to bring three of their friends or family members with them to these great places. So, which is obviously pretty awesome. To participate, what you need to do if you're one of our teens or one of their family members is to go to one of our city's 43 recreation centers and pick up your pass. I have to say, I'm a little bit jealous because I wish we had a program like this when I was growing up right here in Dallas. These passes represent an incredible opportunity for our kids to learn and grow during the summer after a stagnant year of staying at home. I'm confident that through this program and others, this summer is going to be the best one yet for our young people in this city. And so I'm so excited to see everyone healthy and out and about this summer. And I'm urging everyone who's able to hear me today that if you have not been vaccinated already, we need you to get vaccinated so that we can do this all again next summer. So with that, I wanna say thank you. I appreciate all of you being here today. I wanna to thank again the Dallas Zoo for hosting us today. And I wanna thank the Dallas Park and Recreation Department for putting this program together. You guys do such a great job, you really do. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to my good friend, the director of our Park and Recreation Department, Mr. John Jenkins. John, come on up. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, once again, I'm John Jenkins, director of the Park Department. I want to thank Mayor Johnson and the entire city council for their support. I want to thank the Park and Recreation Board for their support. Uh, this program is special, you all. It's definitely special to me as well. 
I grew up as a latchkey kid, walked about a mile and a half to a recreation center, and having these opportunities for our teenagers to get this type of exposure is really, really special. And it's going to really change lives and expose them to a lot of things in life. So I, once again, I want to thank Mayor Johnson. I want to thank the entire city council. This is a true opportunity for so many teenagers in the city of Dallas. The city of Dallas cares. And we want to make sure each and every one of them had this opportunity this year. At this time, I would like to bring up the director of the Dallas Zoo, uh, Mr. Greg Hudson. Thank you. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you for coming out today. Thank, thank you, Mary Johnson, for coming thank out. And thank all you kids for coming out to, to experience the zoo. They all got to meet our elephants here just a second ago. And um, the first thing I have to say is congratulations to the entire park staff and the, and the board for putting this together because this is a long time in coming. It's, take, it's very complicated to pull off something like this. Um, they've, uh, Crystal and that team have done a great job pulling this together. Thank you to the partners for opening up your doors for the facilities, for, for the youth of Dallas to come to their facilities because we have some great attractions here in Dallas. And the, for the families of Dallas to be able to experience this, I think is a really, really special, especially this summer. Um, after what we, as the mayor said, after what we went through last year, for us to be able to get him back to normal and being able to open up our facilities and, and to have a program like this, it's really special. So we're extremely proud to be a part of that. Um, the Dallas Zoo is all about trying to get connections into the community wherever we can and to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to come out here and see elephants and, and see the zoo every day. So thank you guys for coming out. I'm going to turn it back to Crystal and let, and let you close it out, Crystal. All right, thank you everyone. So hopefully everyone has a full understanding of how this program is going to work. It kicks off on Thursday, July 1st. Make sure you visit your closest or your nearest City of Dallas Recreation Center. The one caveat, you must be a City of Dallas resident between the ages of 12 and 17. So I want to make sure everyone knows how this works. But pop into your nearest Recreation Center and our staff will be happy to take care of you. And then start immediately enjoying the benefits of the card. So I know we have two young people. I have Cameron and Isaiah from Thurgood Marshall Recreation Center. And so Mayor Johnson has our passes for you. So this is an enlarged replica of what it actually looks like. So if you all wanted to stand in front. applause. It's a little warm. So shout out to Paco. Thank you very much. So Paco is our mascot from Bahama Beach Water Park. So that's where you can see Paco at his home. Thank you all.